Foster Freeze is a chain of fast food restaurants that opened in 1946. Thank you for your suggestion. Foster's Freeze presents a California original. In 12 million BC, a pre-Neanderthal became the first caveman to walk upright instead of on all fours. And Foster's Freeze was there. At Foster's Freeze, we've spent over 50 years serving Californians, and there's a reason folks keep coming back for more. Bring the family and see for yourself why Foster's Freeze is the California original. Foster's Freeze, a California original. George Foster came out to California after World War II with an eye toward opening Dairy Queen outlets as he had acquired the DQ franchise rights for the state. Unfortunately, strict laws protecting California's dairy industry kept him from using the dairy part of the name at the time. So he decided to open a soft serve ice cream stands under his own name the first Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze opened in 1946 at 999 South La Brea Avenue in Inglewood. He introduced the soft serve cone and a line of soft serve desserts. The unique product became so popular that he opened a chain of restaurants. As California grew, so did the Foster's concept made-to-order hamburgers, fries, and other food items were added to the menu. Foster's Freeze truly could be described as California's first fast food chain. By 1951, when Foster sold his chain for $1 million, roughly about $10.7 million nowadays, he had at that point opened 360 restaurants in California, making Foster's one of the first fast food chains to be established statewide. The Foster's Freeze franchise was sold to Mayenberg Milk Products. Mayenberg produced large amounts of evaporated and sweetened condensed milk for domestic and foreign federal relief programs, as well as for industrial production uses. The acquisition of the Foster's Freeze product name was a good fit for Mayenberg. During the summer months when milk production increased, the company processed and sold its excess milk in the form of Foster Freeze ice milk products to its franchisees. Mayenberg became a very profitable company because of its government contracts, but its Foster Freeze franchise stores were falling behind the new fast food trend of offering hamburgers and other hot foods. The company helped its franchisees update and remodel their stores so they could include hamburgers, french fries, and Mexican food on their menus. The move made the old stores very profitable. But it didn't provide Mayenberg with any increased franchise royalties for the sale of these hot foods, even though they were marketed under the Foster Freeze's name. In the early 1970s, Mayenberg and its 241 Foster Freeze franchise fast food drive-ins was acquired by Vornado, an East Coast retailer which had operated under the trade name of Two Guys. In 1976, good year, Mayenberg Milk Products was sold to Bob Sardella of Sacramento a re restaurant real estate site developer of over 400 locations for Sambo's, KFC, Burger King, and Arco. Sardella soon sold Mayenberg Milk, its subsidiaries, and a meat packing plant in Compton, California to cut losses so he could focus on rebuilding the Foster Freeze brand. Sardella encountered franchisee resistance as he attempted to update and create more uniformity in the outdated franchise agreement. Sardella ended up selling the franchise rights to his president of the company, Bill Wagner. Wagner wasn't able to expand the chain and sold the franchise to Bill Boudier, a Northern California franchisee with stores throughout the Sacramento area, Kerry Mulligan and their silent partners. In 1994, El Pollo Loco signed a master franchise contract with Foster's Freeze allowing service of Foster Freeze soft serve ice cream in El Pollo Loco locations. In 2002, there were 163 El Pollo Loco 
locations selling Foster Freeze products, and their sales increased by 3 to 6 percent. However, the contract ended in 2014. In 2015, Foster's Freeze had 88 locations in California. Also in 2015, an investment group that runs multiple franchises of several restaurant brands bought Foster's Freeze. It then modernized the brand and operations and sales have increased every year since then. As of 2021, the company is looking to add locations for the first time since 2006. As of December of 2021, Foster Freeze has 66 locations, all in California. The Foster's Freeze franchise in Hawthorne, California is known to be the location at which Beach Boy band member Dennis Wilson saw the girl in the Thunderbird he sang about in his song titled Fun Fun Fun. Foster's Freeze also showed up in another piece of pop culture. The Atwater Village location was used in a scene of the movie Pulp Fiction where Bruce Willis's character runs over Ving Rhames. So what are your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions.